I feel like just because he's not my husband anymore doesn't mean he still can't be a part of my life. And I think that's a great way of looking at it. I'm just suggesting that maybe you take some time for yourself right now. Learn to live your own life. I know you're right, John. I just never thought this would happen to us. I understand what you're saying. It's hard to lose someone that you're close to, but you must understand that you won't feel better until you learn to move on. You have to move on from your past. Life doesn't slow down when things get tough. Learn to turn your problems into opportunities. Welcome and good afternoon. Would you like to join us? There's a couple of empty chairs here. Is that coffee for everyone? Well, certainly. Go ahead and then please join us. As I was saying, life is too short to dwell in the past, especially when we have no control over it. Everyone that's here has a story to tell, and talking about it can really help. I think everyone here has uh, spoke. Would you like to speak, sir? In front of the group? No, uh, I was hoping I could speak to you privately, see if you could help me. I'm in a bit of a predicament. Well, talking about it can really oh, help you. Is that what helped you? I'm just asking since you're the expert. Okay, let's, let's try a little breakout exercise. Let's pair up, really get to know each other, uh, talk to one another, and then I'm going to talk to my friend here and see what I can do to help, and then we will recollect and continue on in just a moment, okay? Sound good? Okay, so what's going on? Who are you? My name's not important. I mean, it says anonymous, right? But what do you want? I'm here to see if I can rekindle an old relationship. So you are here for guidance? I'm just, uh, I'm a very cautious person. And I need to know more about you before I decide if you can really help me. I mean, especially because it's obvious to me you've never opened up to these people about you. Seems odd. Okay. So tell me. Okay. What makes you qualified to give people advice? I'm an ex-Marine. I just like helping people. I'm not asking why. I want to know who are you? I mean, what makes you... Here, here you are. You're the leader of this support group, right? You're giving people advice that's going to affect the whole course of their lives. Something must have happened to you that makes you able to understand and connect with people, right? Nothing noteworthy. I really have a simple life. It's just me and my dog, Hank. So that gets a little lonely sometimes. That's why I come here, talk to people, try to make a difference. So people you don't even open up to about your own life. My private life is none of their concern. If they choose to come here for emotional support, that's on them. I don't owe anybody anything. Really? No family? Because you seem like a big family man to me. Uh, no, I've been alone most of my life. My mom died when I was young and my dad just wasn't there for me anymore. Uh, he couldn't be the father that I needed. So um, I enlisted in the military and left and never looked back. <laughs> you don't seem like such an expert on relationships. Listen, I don't owe you an explanation. I don't even know you. I left because I had to take control of my own life. Nobody understood what I was having to go through. Nobody, no siblings? Well, I, I had a brother, he was much younger than me, but he wasn't under the same kind of pressure that I was. Um, I was expected to keep the family together, but I was losing my sanity there. He didn't need me. I was basically an adult and he was in sixth grade. Okay, so what happened to your brother? Well, I don't, well, I don't know. I, no, come on, I, what do you, what do you? I, I never went back, I, I mean, so you, you want to know why I created this support group? Why I sit and listen to other people's tragedies every Sunday? It's because I screwed up my own life. But maybe I can give someone else a chance. So you want to know if I can help you? 
I can. I can help you by telling you not to run from your problems. So you want to rekindle a relationship, right? Whoever that person is, make sure they know what they mean to you and don't give up on them. I think I'm ready to talk now. I, um, <clears throat> I came here unsure about who I would meet today. But I'm happy to say that even after all these years, I forgive you. What are you talking about? It's me. It's your brother. 